You know, the liver cancer space in regards to systemic treatments has dramatically changed in the past two years. And it, with all these drugs, we have no way of predicting who's going to respond. So I think there's going to be a lot of clinical judgment. In the frontline setting, we've had linvantinib, non-inferior to serafinib. And then we've had several randomized phase three studies in second line versus placebo, regorafenib, uh, ramucirumab, and cabazantinib which have all improved survival compared to placebo for patients who had prior serafinib. None of the drugs approved in second line have been well studied after lenvantinib, but we know that they're active after first line therapy. And I think that's how I would approach things. I, I don't think I would choose my front line option based on what my second line option is going to be. Uh, I think for all of these drugs, it's very important that we transition patients to systemic treatment when it's appropriate. And still there was a reliance on local regional treatments and only going to systemic treatments when it was the last resort. But by then, it's hard to get the true benefit from these treatments because patients are decompensating or having other trouble from their liver disease. But now we have agents that are active uh, after frontline treatment. So whether you get serafinib or lenvantinib frontline, so the whole uh, paradigm should shift to the earlier use and appropriate use of systemic treatment so we can maximize all these, uh, the benefit from these drugs. So one of the important take home messages I think uh, is that for advanced liver cancer now we have a lot of new options. There's no point in doing research where we develop new drugs for first line and second line and beyond if patients never get there appropriately, if patients are just continuously getting local regional treatments uh, and don't get the opportunity to get the benefit from systemic drugs. And that transition point from local regional to systemic treatment I think comes with doctors being familiar with the data and knowing what's available and what the evidence suggests can be done to help improve survival for patients who still are incurable but you know, still deserve a benefit of uh, survival advantage, which we're seeing now uh, can be well over 20 months with either the serafinib-regorafinib sequence or lenvantinib to second-line treatment.